What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought that I would share with you some underrated products that don't get enough love. I love watching these videos and I feel like I say that every time I do this video. I promise every mower in the neighborhood is going right now. I love watching and doing these videos because I feel like I get to meet new brands, give you guys some suggestions on products that don't get enough love. First thing I want to talk about are these Smith brushes. These brushes are like the diamond in the rough. They are the most amazing brushes for applying your eyeshadow, applying cheek color. This is um, the 112, that is what I use to apply my, my highlight probably every single day. It just picks up the product so nicely. And I think the eye brushes are my favorite. I can't even tell you. I wish I would have purchased like two of each. They just apply product so well. 220, that is really great for blending out your crease color and then um, these with the points, I have a, the small one and then this big guy. These lay down your lid color to perfection. And I love the point because I feel like it just gets it to be really, really precise and amazing. The 232, 230, and 235. These are my favorite brushes. You can get them off Beautylish. They don't get enough love and enough press. I do, I do see some people use them in tutorials, but I just had to talk about them because they're awesome. This foundation from Becca is the ultimate coverage 24 hour foundation. If you're looking for mannequin full coverage skin, I think that you will love this foundation and it's really affordable. They just repackaged it. I definitely would suggest applying it with a beauty blender because it is so opaque that you don't want to apply too much or I think that you might look really, really cakey. I, I mean, I really like it. I, um, it's one of the better full coverage foundations for a good price. Product is the Too Faced Perfect Flush blush and peach beach i love this carly was wearing it the other day and well not the other day probably like a couple weeks ago and i was like what is on your cheeks it was like the perfect combination of bronze peach and nude and i love it that is what it looks like you can't really see a difference in the colors but there's just champagne pinks going on on everybody so it's just like a peachy bronze nude looks way better on the cheek so yeah i definitely think that these there is something to these blushes i love them and for sure you've got to try them a couple of palettes that i've been loving this one is the alamar palette um from i think it's alamar cosmetics yes and this is so good these colors are so packed with pigment four matte shades which are bright and perfect for summer kind of reminds me of like a siesta i don't know why and then like some really glittery not glittery but frosty shades i mean look at the pigment i barely this l malicon that is like my favorite look at that they're like pressed pigments but the creaminess factor you guys look at that freaking shadow so i love this palette i definitely suggest it i love this palette and i just don't think that i hear too much about it it's the Too faced chocolate gold this is like so incredibly pigmented and gorgeous every single shade in here is really really pigmented and like these two matte shades are perfect for the crease so you really can get a full look out of here i know that was one of like the complaints about this palette is that it's like all uh, metallic shades but these four matte shades really are the perfect shades to go with these colorful colors because it just really gives you the perfect fun eye and it smells like vanilla oh it smells so good classy and sassy is one of my favorites and then dripping diamonds i mean i don't know i just think that this needs to get more recognition look at that it's gorgeous it's so good and it's a fun party palette like if you're going to like a fun party fourth of july it's highly suggested i do I do. I know I've mentioned this product in previous, like underrated. I've been wearing it and I'm obsessed. It's the Edward Best Daydream Bronzer. I think when people ask me, if you DM me on Instagram, you ask me what your favorite bronzer is, I always mention and say this one. It's a really good bronze color for light to medium skin because it's got a great combination of bronze, some red and pink tones, some nude tones. Perfect. It's what I'm wearing on my cheeks and pretty much what I've been wearing as of late. Oh my gosh, every time I swatch this bronzer, I just like, I don't know, I gasp. I just love it. 
And I know it doesn't look like much, but I'm telling you on the face it's perfect and it's definitely a bronzer that everybody should have in, in their collection. His stuff is really underrated. I don't know what happened. It's like he was so huge and then he just like went away. Smith & Cult, these products are like some of my favorites and this, the Smith & Cult lip, liquid lipsticks are in Sane. So this is the shade uh, Tiny Flowers, and it's kind of like that nude, kind of just like a nude color, Ugh. but on the lips, it feels like magic. It just feels so incredibly comfortable. I mean, like you would not think that this would be a lip liquid lipstick because the application of it, it's so easy. It doesn't crack. It stays smooth like a ball sack all day long. A ball sack that is shaved, by the way. One of my favorite glosses, and this is Now Kith. This is like one of those glosses, very light pink nude shade, and gives your lips a lot of lusciousness. They look just plump and juicy and um, waiting for some action. So that is right there. Love these two products. They also have some of my favorite nail polishes. I mean, you can get like a five day wear out of uh, the Smith & Colt nail polishes. So I will link that below too. But these two products have just been like in my life like crazy. This looks like it has been one of my favorite lipsticks for I would say at least five years. It's been in my top 10, I can't even tell you. This lipstick should be like the lipstick for summer basically. It is Chanel Boy. I love this color. It was like all that I wore when I work at Ch Chanel because I mean, you can't go wrong with it. It's literally the perfect, it's such a beautiful, juicy, glossy nude. I love it. I, every time I put it on, it looks so good. You can't mess it up. You can throw it in your purse, throw it on. You don't need a liner, like a MAC luster. You don't need to really think to put it on. And it's something that you could take to the beach. You could take to a water park, to an amusement park, if you just wanted some touch-ups because nobody wants gloss. Nobody wants to mess with liquid lipsticks or liners. And so this is like the perfect thing. This duo from pixie and this is called delicate dew i mean who knew that this was like liquid gold on your cheeks it just gives you that wet look that's what i'm wearing today and it the application is so easy i mean it looks like liquid chrome that is like you can get that at target y'all target absolutely stunning you definitely need it you can buy it at target um pretty much my go-to as of late and pixie is just not talked about as much buxom liquid lipsticks are bomb i don't even know what they're called but they're the they're the buxom liquid lipsticks i forget what they're actually called but they are like the mark jacobs lipsticks but ten dollars cheaper and they go on like a dream very similar to the smith and cold but they give like a plumping action i have three colors i have honeydew and this is just a warm peachy nude nude and then i have taupe it off which is my favorite and then i also lastly which is this beautiful bright coral shade it's feel the passion so i highly suggest these i might have talked about them in a previous video but sometimes i just need to reiterate the fact that these don't get enough love and that you need them in your life these joe malone fragrances are especially this one anybody could not like this fragrance this is the wood sage and sea salt like this fresh earthy scent it is so good it's my favorite um it smells so good i don't feel like I don't know, her fragrances are so beautiful. They don't last very long. I could shower in this and I feel like it'd be gone in like an hour. So you do have to layer it. I might get um, the, bo the body oil and the lotion so I can kind of layer and make the scent last a little bit longer. A little bit, that's kind of bullshit though. I mean, they're gonna just like make you buy more products so it lasts long. Anyway, it smells amazing. You need to try it out. Trust me, I'm very picky and very sensitive to fragrance. So when I recommend a fragrance, it's normally on like the fresh side. And I don't see how fresh could really bother your sinuses or your head. And I really like that. So I want to take my word for it. My video, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think below. And if you have any underrated products that you think that I should try or get for my next video, let me know because I'm always on the lookout for new brands, new products that I don't hear about because you usually hear about the same shit over and over again and I just like want to try like new stuff. So let me know and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.